Hey guys, I wanted to film a video on the elastic band method that I use for my wigs. I know it as Tootsie's mom, um, her method. Some of you guys from, I think it was Black Hair Media. Some of you guys might know about Tootsie's mom's method. That's where the elastic band originated from. So, I've been following that for years and years and years. I was on that forum. Um, so, that's where I found it. That's where I'm showing it to you guys because I did say I was going to do a series on how I make my wigs. And I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. It's very, very, very simple. So, I hope you have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, so you measure it from in front of your ear, and this is the elastic, of course. You can find this at Michael's, Walmart, wherever. It's just in a roll like this. It lasts forever. You just measure to right in front of the ear, to right in front of the ear. You want to make sure it's not too tight, because if it's too tight, you're going to get an extremely bad headache during the day which is not something you want to happen. I've had it happen many a time. <laughs> so, if you follow the tutorial that I made for making my wigs, you will have a flap that is not attached to the wig. And that's gonna be the flap that can go in front of your ear if you so choose it to. We are going to sew about two inches back. You see the inch tattoo on my finger there? two inches back from the front. I also wanted to mention that this is a 13 by 6 frontal. So you're going to go in two inches on a 13 by 6 frontal and one inch on a 13 by 4 frontal. Sorry. Now, this is perfect because I wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. However, I did it upside down, so I'm, I'm kind of showing you guys what not to do. I did not realize that I did this upside down. However, I realized when I put it on. You can feel a little lump, um, so it's not that big of a deal if this happens to you. Uh, just make sure that you sew it. on facing the nape. So you're gonna place one of the pieces of elastic, the end of it, on the lace. You're gonna follow it down through the nape of the neck and up to the other side of the lace. You can see a tutorial on how I sew in my wig making video. It's very simple and it secures the elastic efficiently. I'm also gonna have a color uh, color tutorial coming up on how I did the color in the beginning because it's the same wig that I'm using in this tutorial for how I'm sewing my wigs, my elastic band on my wigs. So as you can see, I'm facing the elastic down this time to ensure that it's pulling the frontal down so that it is flush to my skin. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie that knot. And then I try it on. I try it on with my bun because I want to ensure that it fits with the with a very like I don't tie my hair the same every day underneath it. So I just want it to fit with the biggest thing possible because I like my wigs to be very roomy. That's why I make my own. Other than that, guys, that's the tutorial. As you can see, very secure. I hope you all have a great day, and thank you all so much for watching. Bye.